Hey, hi, it's lesson three, everybody, because we've already watched lessons one and two, and they've been fabulous. So now it's time for us to do lesson three. First live lesson, let's hear it for everybody. Yeah, live studio audience. This is exciting. So uh, today we're going to talk about the impact of the Stamp Act and how it, just like the Sugar Act and the Proclamation of 1763, led to a worsening of relations with the British government. And just like any lesson, while this is going on, it, it would be a good idea for you to take notes. Can somebody turn on the smart board? Why is uh, it not? It's, it's on the top of that thing. That All right. Hey, excuse me while I turn on the smart board really fast. Usually I come in, it's already on. Okay. So, we're also going to look at the effect that different types of protests had on causing the repeal, which means the cancellation of the Stamp Act. So, so let's get into it. So here we see a stamp, but not like a stamp like I would put on a letter or an envelope. It is a stamp that would come from a device that looks like this. Yes, this is a big metal device with imprints on it. And when I put a piece of paper in between those two little pieces of metal right there and pull down on that lever, it raises the paper in a design that looks something like this. That is a stamp. If you've ever seen like your birth certificate or something that's been notarized, it has a similar type of pattern where the paper is raised up in a certain way. And this is a way that you can tell that something is official that has been certified. It's a stamp. So after the, uh, the Sugar Act and all the smuggling that happened, because people were like, forget that. I'm just going to sneak molasses in and not pay the tax. Well, after that, the British like, we got to come up with another tax. Something that people just got to use. Not even something that they have to buy, but they just have to have. What about official legal documents? You have a child, you need a birth certificate. You have somebody die in your family, you need a death certificate. You want to start a business, you need a contract. You finish school, you want a diploma, that's an, a legal document. Any sort of legal document, let's slap a tax on that. And those documents won't be official unless it has the stamp. But not only that, let's do any paper item. Any paper item. Newspaper, stamp. Books, stamp. Heck, before cell phones were around, the one, number one way when people were sitting around bored and wanted to pass some time instead of like, I'm just going to scroll through TikTok, was playing cards. You can carry them in your pocket. They're light. Hey, let's play a quick game of rummy. So playing cards, are they made out of paper? Yup. It needs a stamp. So this tax is a real just inconvenience. Because if you have a newspaper and it's not it doesn't have a stamp on it, you're breaking the law. You can face a fine. You graduated school, great. You don't have any money, too bad. You can't pay the tax, you don't get your degree. Oh, your great-grandpa died, and you're set to uh, inherit his estate. Sorry, his will doesn't have a st uh, stamp, so the government takes it all. So this stamp is just a real annoyance and inconvenience to the Americans, which, yes, are they angry and annoyed by the tax? Yes. But would a tax like this have been passed in England? Probably not. Why? Because the British people have representation. And the main thing that the Americans are angry about is not just the tax. It is taxation without representation. If you're going to make me pay... You gotta give me a say. You can't take my money and force me to have to pay all this money to get my documents that uh, I earn through, through school or that are important that I need to start my business or just to be able to get informed and read the news or just play cards. You can't force me to pay this money without at least giving me a say in how much you're taking and how you're spending it. If you take my money... Without giving me a say, that's stealing. And that's a violation of my rights. So what the Americans are really angry about is, say with me, taxation without representation. Everybody, again, taxation without representation. 
That's the thing that they're really mad about. Kids at home, you did a good job saying that out loud. So they say, you know what? I'll pay taxes. I want to pay taxes. That's fine. You know, taxes are the price we pay to, to have civilization. You know, we want to have a military. We want to have roads and, you know, a government that runs. It, it needs taxes. Okay, I, I accept that. But if you're going to tax me, you got to give me a say. And up until this point, the Americans have no say in the British government. Do they pay taxes in the 13 colonies? Yeah, to their local colonial government. They pay taxes in Massachusetts to the Massachusetts Assembly. And if they don't like what Massachusetts Assembly is doing with their taxes, they can vote those suckers out. But as of right now, the British have left the Americans alone, A, to let them flourish, and B, because they know they don't have representation. And one of the big ideas in England is just that. If you're going to have to, if you're going to give me taxation, I have to have representation. It's not like the Americans were sitting around like, you know what would be cool? If we had like taxation with representation, that'd be neat. No, this is a British idea. Why? Because these people are British. They want British rights. The, the British had taxation with representation going back to the Middle Ages when people lived in castles. All right, we're, we're talking about in the 1300s of the Magna Carta. The, the, the king was passing all sorts of taxes. A bunch of nobles like, dude, I don't like these taxes. They basically went to the king, put a knife to his throat, and said, you either let us get a say and approve the taxes, or we'll cut off your head. And the king's like, okay, the people get a say. So this is a British idea. In England, you have taxation with representation. The legislator, legislature, the people who make the laws, the legislative branch is parliament. You can elect members of parliament. But the people in the 13 colonies can't. They have no representation in parliament. So they feel rep parliament can't pass any laws on them. Can't, I'm sorry, can't pass any taxes on them. And people freak out. They get really mad about this stamp act. Riots break out in New York and Boston, and uh, cities across America. P the stamp ri uh, uh, tri uh, riots. People are going to government buildings, you know, lighting them on fire, throwing rocks through windows, attacking tax collectors, threatening them. Like here we see a person hung in effigy. They're, they're, they're hanging him from the tree. A dummy, not an actual person, but the, a, a dummy that looks like the tax collector, to threaten them, but they might actually really go after tax collectors. For example, 